Hey friends, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts and I can't wait to share the easiest Tunisian crochet smock stitch tutorial with you today. If you're excited to learn this Tunisian crochet technique with me, be sure to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel for even more crochet tutorials, free patterns, and product reviews. For this tutorial, I'm using a 6.5mm Tunisian crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. The smock stitch can be worked over any even number of stitches. For this sample, I'm working over 16 stitches. First, we're going to start with our foundation row, which will be working over 16 chains. So we'll begin with a slip knot, place that on our hook. We're going to chain 16. So yarn over, pull up the loop. That's one chain, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Now we're going to flip our chain over. And we're going to find these back bumps here and that's where we're going to pull up our loops. So we're going to skip our first chain, find our next chain, insert our hook under the back bump of that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop and keep that loop on our hook. Insert under the next back bump, yarn over, pull up the loop, keep it on the hook. Insert, yarn over, pull up the loop. Insert, yarn over, pull up the loop. We're going to do that for each chain across. So when we finish pulling up our loops, we should have the same number of loops as we did chains. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Perfect. So now we'll want to do our return pass, which begins with a chain 1. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2 loops. We're going to do that until we have just one loop left on our hook. Yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2. And that's our completed foundation. So now we can go on to row two, which starts with a Tunisian simple stitch two together. And what that means is we're going to find our next two vertical bars because the loop on our hook counts as our first stitch. So we skip this first bar. We're going to find the next two after that, which are these. I'm going to tighten down a little so you can really get up in my business here. Okay. We're going to insert our hook under both of these loops, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And we're going to follow that with a yarn under. And basically what that means is to bring the yarn around the front of the hook and then we want to hold that with our first finger. Make sure you hold that securely so it doesn't slip out. So we Tunisian simple stitch two together and did our yarn under. And that's basically the repeat for this row. Tunisian simple stitch two together for the next two stitches. So remember we're holding on to this yarn under with our finger. So we're going to yarn over our hook now, still holding on to that yarn under, and pull through those two loops. At this point, you can drop your finger. So now we're going to yarn under and hold. Tunisian simple stitch two together. Yarn under and hold. Tunisian simple stitch two together. Yarn under and hold. Tunisian simple stitch two together. Yarn under and hold. Tunisian simple stitch two together. Yarn under and hold. Tunisian simple stitch two together. And then we do a yarn under and then we have our last stitch. So we want to make sure we work under both loops of our last stitch. So if we rotate our work towards us, we can see a front loop and the back loop is right here. Insert your hook under both of those loops just like that. Then yarn over and pull up the loop. Now, if you wanted to do a count, you should still have 16 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now we'll want to do our return pass. We're going to yarn over and pull through one first, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, just until we have one loop left on our hook. 
yarn over, pull through two. So that's the first row. Now the Tunisian smock stitch is a two row repeat. So here's the second row. Remember that the loop on your hook counts as your first stitch. So we're skipping this first vertical bar. We're gonna go into our next vertical bar with just a Tunisian simple stitch. So insert under the front loop of that bar, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now that loop is, that stitch is complete. Now we're gonna get back into our Tunisian simple stitch two together and yarn unders. So as you can see, when I did that Tunisian simple stitch here, it made the second loop, the loop after that, a little small. So I can just pull my work up a little and I can see that that loop is right there. That's my next stitch. And then the stitch after that, I want to simple stitch two together. So inserting under both of those loops, yarn over and pull through both. Now we're gonna yarn under, Tunisian simple stitch two together, the next two stitches yarn under, we've got a decrease here, yarn under, a decrease here. We're gonna repeat this until we've got two stitches left. Got a decrease here and a yarn under. So I'm gonna hold this. We've got two stitches left, so we've got a vertical bar here, and then we have our last stitch. So I'm gonna Tunisian simple stitch this next vertical bar and then I'm going to rotate my work towards me, find the front and back loop of that last stitch, insert my hook under both of those loops. There we go. There we go. Yarn over, pull up the loop. Then I'm gonna chain one. And now I can do my return pass. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way back. And now we've got one loop left on our hook. So we can see our smock stitch starting to take form. So we're gonna do those two rows again together. So remember this one starts with a Tunisian simple stitch two together. So skipping this first bar, we've got our next two bars right here. Insert under both of those as for Tunisian simple stitch and work them together. Yarn under and hold, two together, yarn under and hold, two together, yarn under and hold. We're gonna repeat that until the last stitch. Oh, I always wanna do a yarn over. Here we go. And hold, two together, yarn under and hold, two together, yarn under and hold. Find both of the loops of our last stitch, and then we'll chain one and do our return pass. Now for the second row of our repeat, we start with the Tunisian simple stitch all by itself, and then two together, yarn under and hold, two together, yarn under and hold. Now we've got our stitch here, we've got one right here, and then our last stitch. So Tunisian simple stitch, that one by itself. Find both loops of our last stitch. Work that one, chain one, yarn over, pull through two, all the way back.
This video was made as a supplement to the smock stitch square as part of the Tunisian holiday sampler blanket. To get the row by row instructions for the smock stitch square and learn more about this sampler afghan, visit the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see y'all next time.